Hello everybody, Nick here at Scott and Dicky. We appreciate you stopping by for another one of our weekly tech videos. Now, in the past few weeks or months, we've been talking about a lot of transmission related stuff. You know, not too long ago, we did one about pilot bearings, and very recently we did one about clutch alignment tools, and also talking about some great deals you can get on McLeod products on our website. But, there's actually a much more serious problem I need to let you guys know, especially if you have one of the new Gen 5 LT small blocks. This came up in 2014 and up, uh, you know, half tons, you're looking at five threes, as well as the 4.3 actually. And if you're trying to install a manual transmission, it doesn't really matter which one, you're gonna need something like this. This is an ICT billet kit that they offer. It includes both the upper and lower bell housing spacing, as well as the hardware and an extended dowels. As usual, ICT Billet really knows how to put something together complete. I like that they didn't miss the small stuff. There's a reason for this. If you try to install a T56 per se behind one of the new direct injected 5.3s or 4.3s, the pilot bearing in the back of the crankshaft is not machined. It will only accept the larger pilot bearing and the room behind that larger pilot bearing does not have enough space for the rest of the input shaft to go a little bit past that bearing like they do naturally. What happens? You guys try to bolt up a transmission and even using something like your puny little arms like me and a ratchet, you can actually break the bell housing or worse, the block. We've seen a few pictures, we've talked about it before when you guys have misaligned something and try to torque the bell housing onto the back of your block and you hear about people destroying a real expensive block in a build. We've seen it with this too. So this is another big deal we need to tell you guys about. This is the solution to putting one of those transmissions behind one of those engines. This is actually right at about 3 eighths of an inch thick. It's 0.375 inches thick. And <clears throat> It will give it enough space where you can still use the large pilot bearing. You will still get proper engagement on the very end of your input shaft in that pilot bearing, but it doesn't crash into the back of the crankshaft. You torque everything up and you break something expensive. Believe me, we've yet to see a failure that's cheap. Now, I will say if one question we have gotten about these that's pretty serious is, well, you space the bell housing, about 3 eighths of an inch you say, won't that mess up the stack height on the clutch in total for the throw up bearing? Yeah, actually it will. The reason ICT billet does not include any type of a spacer for your throw up bearing or internal hydro, uh, slave cylinder, some of y'all like to call it too, is because every clutch has different stack height specifications and there are of course different throw up bearings for different applications. So there's no way they could offer this kit and have it be a one size fits all. So they offered as much as they could in a nice single part number. It is up to you to figure out the rest of that stack height. You need to know that aftermarket clutches, twin disc clutches, single disc clutches, or even something as simple as like an OEM, you know, LS7 or LS6 clutch, they can be used. They all have different stack height measurements. This is something that when you're installing a clutch, you are supposed to check. If you need anything like that, a lot of times the KTEC spacer we use for the CTSVs can be used in those applications. They are about the same thickness. You have to measure and see if that same thickness will work. If not, there are other spacers and adapters that we can offer you. Once you take that measurement, and you do have to take that measurement first to tell us what you need, we can't go by application. Call us and we can get you hooked up with a real high quality ICT billet piece. And of course the right spacer to make sure everything lines up so you can row gears behind your new favorite Gen 5 LT. One more tip I'm gonna give you. This is actually for a project we have, <coughs> specifically Dane's. I stole it from him again, just like I did in one of the last videos. I keep stealing stuff from him. He's nice though and he keeps letting me. But if you guys are looking for a nice inexpensive clutch option for a Gen 5 LT and you're not looking big shot of nitrous, big boost, you're keeping it below kind of the 500-ish mark, one thing you can do is call us and get one of these flywheels that's made by Ram. If you do get our LS7 clutch kits, you can opt for an aluminum Ram flywheel. But if you're running a T56 behind a 4.3 or a 5.3, you actually can run that LS7 clutch using 
this flywheel here. This is actually part number 2558. They make a 2558F. Don't get that. It's flat, like an old LS1 style. You don't need that. That's actually for LSA patterned twin disc applications. This is actually something pretty trick I don't think a lot of people know about. This is LS7 clutch to 8 bolt LS and LT crank. Yes, it will work with 4.3, 5.3, 6.2 maybe if you're not going too crazy on power. And you can use a nice cheap single disc LS7 clutch for Musk. That is a good deal. LT clutches can be pricey even if you go with the stock ones. They actually made some great ones from the factory. They are expensive. Kind of hard to come by too because not a lot of people took them off to upgrade. They were so good, why would you change it? So, you guys want to put a manual behind your 4353, something a little bit more on the reasonable street power? <laughs> Take a look at this. Take a look at some of these great products from ICT Billet. Now, we appreciate you guys stopping by for another one of our weekly tech videos. We do these every Friday. We do them to help out hot riders like you and me. So make sure to share them. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all your social media so you can get the word out on stuff like this or you might have a friend that ends up having a very expensive mistake. Nobody likes to do that. So help out your buddies, help out yourself. Hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week for another tech video. Thanks for stopping by.